Welcome to We Shoot Films. We talk about everything cinematic. We do tutorials, reviews, and today we're going to talk about Unreal Engine. Now, I want to talk about how I happen to bring in my green screen PNG sequences into Unreal Engine, and hopefully this can help you out if you've been searching for this or an easier way. Um, so that's what this is about. So let's get to it. All right, so here we go. We have Unreal open. So you want to go to right here. Now here, if you just to let you know, if you hit the marketplace, once you download and install it, if you hit the marketplace, this is where you can get a lot of assets, 3D assets, uh, 3D environments. It's just it just goes on and on for days. So that's the marketplace where you can buy stuff. But I'm going to go to the library. That's where your your stuff lives. Once you purchase things, you'll find everything in here. Um, I'm going to just open up a, uh, a map, a level and show you how I bring in my green screen uh, PNG sequences into Unreal. Now, for the moment, while this is loading, a lot of y'all aren't subscribed. If you're watching me, please subscribe, you know, hit a like, leave a comment. I uh, appreciate it a lot. You know, it really helps me and uh, gives me more motivation to do this stuff, you know, because I know people liking it. But um, I would appreciate that. All right, so we're in here. Now, when you open up a map, an environment they call it a map a level whatever a map whatever you go down here and you go to the maps and that's where you will find the environment so it loads up look at this man this is amazing isn't this amazing though like you can create this i mean you can create it you can buy it you can take elements from it and create your own i mean look at how dope this is, yo, like, this is amazing to me. I, I love it, you know, 3D and Unreal Engine is really unreal. They created such a, <laughs> it's a great name, um, cause it's so true, you know. This room here, look at this room here. I did a video in this room. I created a green screen video in this room. Um, I shot a video in this room for the artist called Pounds. Check it out real quick. Went to spread, skip the new teller. Yeah. How nobody went to feds, what did you tell her? Pillow full of goose feathers in the flow too stellar. So yeah, I created that in this room and I added all the assets and stuff and did the lighting differently and all that stuff. But anyway, we're not here for that. <laughs> we're here to teach you how to import your PNG sequence. Now, once you, in After Effects, that's where I green screen, I key out my green screen in After Effects. Then I export it into a PNG sequence, okay? So that's where we are. Now, if you're new to here, the content browser, if it isn't up, hit Control and Space, all right? Mine is up already, but hit Control and Space if you don't see it. I'm a PC dude, not a Mac dude. I'm not hating on you if you are, but... I just love PC, you know what I mean? All right, you hit content, create a new folder. I'm gonna call it whatever, test one. And within this folder right here, this is your folder. So you right click, media, image, media source. I'm gonna label it, test one, and click it. And right here, so sequence path. You wanna go to where your sequence is. All right, so once you find where your sequence is, all you have to do is click on the first one and hit open. And then right here, frame rate. Do the frame rate that you shot it in. I shot it in 60 frames per second. And I would, you know, I would advise you to shoot your green screen minimum at 60 frames per second, okay? You don't want that motion blur. Hit save right here and you close it. Right click again, media media player now here it says video output music yep you want to click that all right check that box it's very important and i'm gonna call this test 1b it doesn't like to be labeled the same and then we're almost there already now up here in the corner, top left you got all of these things that do different things for now we're just concentrating on the fourth one over you want to go down right here to it says plane and bring one down just bring it right down i'm gonna open it up and this right the space bar allows you to see you can make it 
bigger or smaller. Um, you can, you know, bring it up and down, forward and back, or you could turn it around and all that good stuff. All right, so that's the space bar it allows you to do that. I'm going to bring it over to 90 degrees. There you go, just to have it. All right, then you want to take your media texture right here and you want to apply it to the plane. All right, nothing happened yet, but it's going to. Now you want to come up here to the left right here and you want to add level sequence. And I usually put it in the same folder. I'm not going to label it. I don't care right now. Right here, remember to put it at the frames per second. You brought it in, 60 frames. Okay, right here, come here, hit track, media track, and then click on there, media source. And there you go. Then right click on this one, go to properties. You go down to media texture and you find your media texture right here. And that's it for that. And you're gonna see, there you go, it popped up. You see it? He is there now. So you wanna kinda, you know, bring him to where he gotta go. Stretch him out a little bit. That's it. And th this sequence here is where you do a lot of your work when you start having to move your camera around and all that stuff. Let me bring a camera down in case you don't know. If you need a camera, you come over here. See this right here? Click there. Send a camera actor. Just grab it, bring it down. And then, boom, look at that. I love it, man. I really do. It's just, it's just, it's just dope to me. Um, if you want to, if you want to keep this, if you want to keep this on the screen right here, there's a pin. Just click on it, and it'll stay on no matter what. This will always stay there. Uh, again, and if you hit G, that's what turns everything on and off, so you can view things. All right. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. But you know, and let, let's talk about the camera real quick. You can come over here. And you can pick all your, you know, APC, Micro Four Thirds, full frame. I usually go full frame with mine. Uh, I usually give it a 239 crop. It's my favorite. Um, you can do so much, man. I got the focal lengths here from 12 millimeters to whatever, man, to 100 to 200 millimeters to 85 to 50. It, 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 you know, it's like a real camera, like for real, though. I'm gonna bring it back to uh, just, I don't know. I'll bring it back to 50. And if you want some focusing, right here it says manual, hit tracking. And then if this ain't open, sometimes it'll be closed. You gotta open that up, grab the picker, and then pick him. And there you go, he's focused and he's gonna stay focused. And over here, if you want to, you can manually move the camera right here. There's a lot to getting a good image. This is not, you wouldn't just leave it like this. You have to, you know, color grade him to the background as good as possible. You know, it also matters how you green screen. So it ain't just do this and there you go. I mean, you could, but it's not gonna look as good as it should. But you could, you know. I'm gonna show you something else real quick. Um, when you bring it in, Stretch this out, all right. You see these lines here? Those are the those are that means that's the end of that clip. It's just gonna repeat. Just trim it down to that that line, and then grab this right here, the end cursor, here, and just put it there. So then you're good. And if you need to find out how to bring an audio track, you watch this one or this one. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but watch one of those. That'll teach you how to bring an audio track into Unreal Engine, all right, to match it up with your with your clip. And that's about it. I hope it helped you. Um, I try to bring value. You know, I'll appreciate it if you subscribe. Hit the bell on the side so you get notified on time, all right? Like I always say, it is what it is. I'm out.